Okay, so this video is just uh, finishing up with uh, making this part. This is uh, for the y-axis, and I do have to make another one of these things. But this is how uh, the first one's turned out, and uh, I'll just primarily just show the machining of this part here. Um, this was a 3D pocket, and then uh, a parallel with a ball end mill, and also kind of like some, I don't know what you would call it, some parallel in the uh, the opposite direction with the roughing mill just to get it a little closer and yeah seen the work fine and uh, I'll cut now to the uh, video does these two holes again because I had 200% feed overhead and 50% spindle because I was doing some uh, servo testing and yeah that's not good. So I'm going to do these two again and uh, should be good now.
So here's the combined part after a little bit of cleaning up, some polishing, and I think it turned out all right. Over here I just did a light, light little bit of sanding and I just may as well just throw the buffing wheel on it. So yeah, that's how it looks. Uh, yeah, when I was uh, roughing out this pocket here, like I had the machine set to 200% feed and 50% uh, on the spindle because I was doing some testing and that was still set so that would have been a catastrophe um, yeah the uh, end mill survived though didn't have any uh, you know the flutes were fine I'm not sure what kind of uh, chip load that was but it was a lot so now what's left to do is throw this thing on the machine and replace the 3d printed one that I have on there for the longest time that it's amazing that it survived so long. This one should perform a bit better. Um, probably uh, should be able to uh, adjust the servo tune to make it a little more tight as uh, this is more of a rigid piece. It still amazes me how strong 3D printed plastic can be. So like this is the part that I'm replacing with this one and like this one is probably 40 or 50 percent infill and I think it was three three walls so like it's not it's not crazily 3d printed it's just a regular part and this piece has held up to the the new heavy-duty gantry with all the grout filled in it and like there's no cracks in this this piece is totally fine it doesn't even weigh anything compared to like this is a big chunk of a piece so this is a good testament for like if you're building a like a DIY CNC machine with 3d printed parts like, don't think that, like, a lot of these plastic parts are going to hold you back from, like, cutting aluminum and steel and stuff. Like, I've had no problem uh, throughout the build of my machine. My machine started out as, like, uh, generally all the parts were 3D printed and then plywood parts. And then over time, parts were replaced with aluminum and steel and, you know, and then filled with, like, grout and, you know, welded and stuff. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely you can definitely start with 3D printed stuff and wood and and do a lot with that. Here's how it looks like on the machine. So that's it for this uh, video, and I will see you guys next time.